We play and call it work. Hey everybody, Matthew here from AnyWarGaming.com and welcome to another Warhammer 40k Battle Report! No dancing for me. No dancing? No okay. dancing. That's right, no that's dancing. right. Everybody gets to choose <laughs> if they want to dance or not. This is Bon, all the way from Waterloo, Canada. Good, couple hours away. Or uh, hour 45. Hour 45, yeah. sorry. We've done a pregame show already to talk about our armies. I'm going to be playing Gene Stealer Cult, hence the shirt. I was all hyped for this today, so I wore my Gene ah. Stealer Cult shirt. This is the Gene Stealer Cult one, right? Yep, it is. Good. <laughs> And Bond is going to be playing Inquisition, mm -hmm. allied with Grey Knights. Knights. And we're only doing 600 points, because that's the, the number of points that the formation for the Gene Stealer Cult is. And I wanted to try out just pure Gene Stealer Cult. They could ally in Tyranids, but uh, uh, we just we wanted to see if just what it would be like to play a couple games with them. And so we'll hopefully have time to do two games today. Otherwise, my second game will be against somebody else, but I'm sure we can get 600 points in relatively quickly. Probably. Especially against Grey Knights. Yes. yes. Was, you know, there's 600 points in five guys. <laughs> now, we did do a pregame show already where we talked about the army, so if you want to see all the details of the new genes to the cult, and also the Inquisition army that Bond brought in, go ahead and click the link below for the pregame show. It's totally free. You don't have to be a vault member. You don't have to register. We just put it in a different video to keep the battle report kind of more succinct. If you're interested in seeing all that extra stuff, go and see it. If you're not, I don't. We'll still look at the army for about 10 seconds just to give you a basic overview of what is in it. And of course, we're always looking for more people to come in and play against us. Go to miniwargaming.com slash challenge, especially if you play games like 30k, Age of Sigmar, Fantasy, X-Wing, uh, War Machine. We're always looking for a lot more of those players. 40k, of course, you're welcome to as well. Uh, but the other players are in super high demand to try to fill out those games. So go check that out. Let's take a look at the armies and the scenario. This side is my 600 points of Gene Sither Cult. This is the Gosar Quintus Broodkin, the formation that you can find in the White Dwarf. And uh, full details in the, in the pregame show, but essentially it is everything that comes in the box of the Death Watch Overkill. And then on Bond's side, we've got 600 points of Inquisition with Grey Knight Ally Detachment. And uh, once we'll, we'll talk about the story in just a second, but essentially it's guys who thought it was a Chaos Cult. And it turns out it was a gene stealer cult, and they're like, ah, oh, dang, wrong Ordos, <laughs> but I guess we'll clean it up while we're here. And essentially that is the narrative behind the hopefully two games that we're going to be playing. The second one, of course, will be in the vault in the link below. And we're going to be playing, so just at small points level, representing that the, the Inquisitor Cotiez showed up thinking that there was a chaos cult. Yep. And because, you know, gene stealer cults resemble chaos cults big time. They reside and lurk amongst society, trying to corrupt the government and everything else like that, leading rebellions. And there's always psychic energy. There's as well, psychic right? lots of psychic energy. It's not it's not blotted out like when the Tyranids arrive, it's actually more present. And so when they arrive they just realize they're mistaken as they discovered a little too late that it was a genius of their cult. Because otherwise they would have called in the Death Watch to take care of that. And hence why in Death Watch Overkill it's genius of their cult versus Death Watch. So we're going to be playing on this 4x4 four four board, because at 600 points you don't really want to play on a 6x4. It spreads everybody out too much. And it's going to be obviously in a city that's seen a little bit of combat. And the Inquisition is coming in to try to clean up the, the cult that's kind of sprung up here and finish off the Patriarch. So we're going to be playing a custom mission of sorts. Essentially it's Dawn of War deployment. Whoever wins the choosing deployment zone role chooses any of the four table sides. And then, that, and then the opponent has the opposite side, obviously. We're going to place three objectives that'll be worth uh, three victory points each, but we're also making Slay the Warlord worth two victory points to show the importance of killing either the Patriarch, because I'm going to make the Patriarch the Warlord even though it's not necessarily the best one to choose, but it might be, I'm not sure. But just thematically it has to be him. And Kodias has to be your Warlord, because he's in your detachment that's not, because yep. you can't make a, the Grey Knights because they're in an allied detachment. And so worth two points. First blood, night fighting, and um, I don't think we're going to do... What's the one called? Secondary objective where you're on the op in your opponent's deployment. Oh, Brain. Uh, Brain. <laughs> Brain. It's uh, line breaker. Line breaker, thank you. We won't do that one because it doesn't really make sense for this mission. So three points in secondary objectives and then nine points in objectives. So holding, basically controlling the table will be the most important with a good tiebreaker going to slay the warlord and first blood. 
So let us take a look, or let's let's we're gonna just get deployed, and then we'll be right back. Deployed and ready to go. And uh, Bond wanted to roll off for choosing sides, so he chose this side right here. He was looking for a place where he could set up shop without me being able to infiltrate right behind him. Yep. So he did a good job of that. He's got his uh, Terminators in Deep Strike Reserve because they rolled Cleansing Flame! Boo! Boo! Hey, I just rolled dice, man. I just throw it dice. That's it. Kote has got perfect timing, which will be nice because mm -hmm. he can make his squad ignore cover. And he also got Scryer's oh, Gaze, feet. which will be, if you get it off turn one, it can help you with re-rolling your reserves, which is not a bad thing. And they're hiding up here, and this is a six inch tall building, so I really have no way to get up there unless I can see them for the charge. Mm -hmm. And so they're they're pretty good up there, but maybe I can shoot them down. Or just ignore them, because this is there are objectives. And they're just bolters. And they're just bolters, but just bolters would you know, against my cultists. <laughs> it's not just bolters. We've got an objective here, Rhino full of the other acolytes with the two flamers. Yep. We've got another objective in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then the third objective all the way back here. The two princelings, realizing they had nowhere really to go, decided to be a throwaway unit and just hold an objective. Maybe that'll be important by the end. And we are making a change. The objectives are worth two points each, not yes. three. And then I've got my Acolytes here, and they're being joined by the Magus. So they're 18 inches away, having infiltrated. Everybody infiltrated. Mm -hmm. We've got the Patriarch joining the Aberrants, for now at least. And then we've got the Neophytes with the Primus all back here. And these all infiltrated 12 inches away because they are out of line of sight. And hopefully he does not able to get too close and kill too many with a Flamer. But if he is that close, then... I don't know, maybe the charge will be good. Other than the overwash of two flamers as well, but what are you gonna do? I gotta I gotta try to get in there. These guys are really good in close combat. Or they could just await your terminators and hope not to die from cleansing flame. <laughs> and then charge in. I do have stealth and shrouded turn one. Stealth is the entire game, but shrouded for the entire turn one, so except for your perfect timing. Um, I will pretty much have two up saves everywhere. Mm -hmm. And except when you come around the corner, then I'll just have four up saves. So pretty good position for that. I can try to seize the initiative. Are you going to choose to go first? I do. And Kotiaz makes me re-roll seize the initiative. Yes. So I'm just going to roll two dice at the same time to, <laughs> See, to, save, to save myself the pain of watching me roll a six. Double box cars. Oh! oh! I seize the initiative! <laughs> what? Why did I start him right beside you? Oh! Why do you taunt me so? That is so useless. Well, I'm not totally useless, no, it's but still good. it's good. But if I knew I was gonna roll double six, I would have started because I could start the patriarch in a way. I would have started him right here and been like, "See ya." Oh, if only I could see the future. Can you believe that? I, I do. I do. Because, <laughs> Just because this know. happened before. <laughs> yes. I can't believe I rolled double six. I have. I can't believe how much a good roll can frustrate me. Because I was, duh, my deployment is so defensive. But I guess I had to, there's no no way you, I would. I should, you can't plan for, for one, one 36 No, no I can't. I can't. Okay, yeah. so uh, Gene Steeler Cult, I guess, turn one. Woo! We've got three mysterious objectives. Start with this one. It is four targeting relay, so reroll ones when shooting. Won't be that useful, I don't think, unless your guys deep strike in and grab it. Bull. And the one on your side, once you roll that, it is Skyfire, so it's nothing of note. Nope. The one in the middle is not yet revealed, so we'll just leave it as is. Move through cover on the Patriarch and the Aberrants, six inches. They're going to use that to ascend into this building. It's difficult terrain because of the lip. I know you're going to have ignore cover for your one squad, but uh, yeah, we'll just see how it plays out. Gene Steeler Familiar does not take up any space, so I can toss him anywhere. And this squad's going to move up. There is dangers of flamers, but I'm going to try to mitigate that as much as possible by how I place them. So we'll just try to get a little closer for everything. I'm going to move up. What's their strength? Strength four, toughness three. So you're going to toast them with flamers. Yeah. I'm going to try to minimize how many you can hit. I can glance my rhino to death. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's rending, so they can actually pen. Oh, actually. Any yeah. sixes will be actual automatic penetrating hits. Yeah. Difficult terrain for the acolytes. Three inches. I'm going to use that to shuffle these around a bit. And more importantly, 
I'm going to use it to move the mining laser over this one right here over here. I made, I made a mistake in my deployment that he was actually granting the rhino cover because I just didn't assume that I was going to be getting first turn. <laughs> so if I fire them both a ballistic skill, a full ballistic skill, you'll have a four up cover. If I move them here, one will snap fire, but you won't have cover. Mm -hmm. And then I'm getting the grenade launchers out in the open as well because they're they can fire crack grenades and try yes, to yes, pry it open as well. Yeah. Move through cover for these genes till there's five inches. Actually, I'm not going to move them. I don't want to give you line of sight. I want to have a trump card at the end of these two useless guys to <laughs> hold that objective. Psychic phase, you've got two, I've got four, mm -hmm. and plus five. So you got seven against my nine. All right. Start off with the Patriarch attempting to manifest Hallucinate on Cotez's squad. Now this is a Warp Charge 2, Malediction 24 inch range. And if I manifest it and you don't deny it, then we roll on the table that goes anywhere from you getting pinned, to everybody attacking Cotez, to everybody being minus one to pretty much all of their stats, that, except strength and toughness. So, you know, you're, you are a Psyker, so you're going to be denying on fives. You got lots of dice, so I'm not thinking I'm going to get this, but both the Patriarch and the Magus have hallucinations, so we'll try it twice. Five warp charges for the first one. And we fail. Four warp charges for the other guy. He makes with two, so you can toss all your dice. You got to get two five pluses. You think you can do that? I think so. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Oh, just, just. barely. <laughs> barely. Should you phase, these guys will run. Six inches. I'm gonna come out here and uh, just try to make flamers as ineffective as possible. <laughs> you're probably gonna be able to kill four, but uh, I'm okay with that because it means I'm just nice and close to you for next turn. Patriarch and his squad are running two inches. Yeah, so two inches isn't getting them very far. We'll just we'll take a little bit of it. And now the important stuff. Mining lasers and assault grenades into your rhino. Let's see if we can pop that and get first blood. We'll start with the mining lasers. So snap firing. Hits! <laughs> and the non-snap firing one on fours. Of course misses. It makes sense that the guy <laughs> the who's guy he's, he's, he's moving around hits better. Strength nine, no cover against armor eleven. Don't you dare roll a one. Or even a two. Give me a three plus. One! No! Oh! <laughs> it's a glancing hit. Okay. okay. Down to two hall points. And then we have two crack grenades. Four is to hit. Ooh. Ooh. And then five is to glance, because we're strength six against armor 11. Oh. Oh. Okay. Down to one, not bad, not bad. Just was thinking that the mining laser would at least shake it or something. <laughs> but next turn it should die. But that doesn't mean I'll get first blood. And that's it for my turn. I was really hoping to pop the rhino, get first blood, and also maybe pin your guys. That would have been nice. Mm -hmm. Keep your flamers down for a turn. But I'll just have to be happy with two glancing hits, which, you know, given the fact that the one that got it was that it was snap firing, <laughs> yes. it's, you know, no, yeah, still could roll better than that, two. <laughs> those dice are just toying with me. Let me roll those double sixes, give me first turn, make me feel like I could do something. <laughs> and it takes it all away from me. <laughs> but we'll see what happens as we go into Inquisition, turn one. You gonna run away? Run away! You have dozer blades on now? Yes, I do. Okay, so let's roll your dangerous train as soon as you. Well, uh, well, 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 we'll put it at the end. You're not likely to fail it. So you're gonna run away. Just yes. turn around and use your flamers on me. Nope. That's that's not that's not the plan. Oh, that's, not that's the too plan. bad. Hey, let's that dozer see. blades give you double ones. Nope. Don't even know what the other die is, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I'm just gonna move them around, spread them out. Stay away from my blasts? Yes, and probably stay away from the edge, just so you can't charge me as easy. Not as easily. We've determined a rule that we just played for this, because when I was infiltrating, I could have stuck a guy right here, that if he's at the edge, they can see down, and they can see up. So it's him bending over the edge, basically. Yep. So you don't want me to be able to come up right to the side and charge. Nope. I stay away from the edge. You can't charge me. They're safe in there, except for your shooting. Yes. So. Second phase! Five. Okay. You get seven, I get nine. I'm gonna do Squire's Gaze with four dice, see this if will, you can get it. This will allow you to reroll your reserves. Sure you five. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, he perils! Perils. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Keep it. All right. Perils result? Number six! Yeah! Oh. No use for it, but... Well, you got leadership test first. Gotta pass the leadership ten. Yep. Oh, that's I'm good. good. So you're three up in Smash. 
Armor Flesh bane, bane. Flesh bane. Three plus involuntary. Three plus, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Useless, but hey. Two for perfect timing, just because. Check it out. I will try to stop that. I got nine dice. Can I roll two sixes with nine dice? Not a single die. No. Or not a sickle, sickle six. Single six. <laughs> You're going to go flat out? Flat out, baby. You're good. good. Where are you going? I'm going towards those two guys. Whoop. Not going to make it, man. Not going to make it. You only got one hall right point. Now. Only got one hall point. You're not going to make it. Uh, I might make it. Well, you'll have cover. I'll have cover, and you would have to move to shoot your lasers at me. So these guys are going to shoot them. My, my aberrants and the patriarch. With some bolters and the eagle. What's Shots that? for the eagle! Oh. One shot for the eagle. And it's Kotia's <laughs> blizzard skill four or five? Four. So why don't you do four. that one first? Right. to hit. So. And it fours hits. to wound. Toughness four average. Okay. Oh. Nope. Okay. Ten shots from everybody else. Hit on fours. Mm. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty yeah. Good. Above average. Yeah. Fours to wound. Fours to wound, baby. Fours. Three, Three wounds. Average. First two guys are aberrants. They got a five up armor, which you ignore with bolters. But you do feel they, no pain? They have two up cover, which you ignore with perfect timing, but they do have feel no pain. <laughs> and there's two of them, so all three of these will just be feel no pain rolls. Up. Oh, one dies. One dies. Yeah. But I'm fearless, so I'm not gonna run. That's all you're shooting. You're really waiting for your, your green knights to show up. Yep. So we're right into uh, GC, they're called turn two. Difficult terrain. Five inches. I'm going to advance on your rhino. Try not to let it escape. The auto guns won't be able to do anything, but uh, got these two grenade launchers. If I can find them, and then the mining lasers are going to be snap firing, but uh, better than nothing. Hey. See what that mysterious objective is. Hoping for a targeting relay or even a scatter field. Oh. Targeting relay. All right, get to reroll ones with shooting. That'll help with the snap firing. Neophytes will advance. Now this one was just uh, Skyfire. Mm -hmm. Does that mean they can fire up there a lot easier? <laughs> Plus one blister skill and firing the guys on roofs. They're gonna come around this corner. Actually, that would, make, that would make that a lot more useful. More useful in more situations. Yeah. Move through cover for the Patriarch. Five inches. It does unfortunately mean they're gonna have to kind of retreat a bit as moving forward we'll put them out in the open. And I've got stealth. So giving that up. I know you got perfect timing, but at least I'd make you use perfect timing because you've got a lot of other psychic stuff coming in. Hopefully, anyways. Now these two sellers are going to advance this time. Six inches. Come out this way. Psychic phase is my last chance to really do stuff until your level three psyker with a psychic hood comes in. Yes. I've got uh, two plus four. four. You got four, I got six. And we'll try for hallucinate again. I'm gonna use all six of them to go for Koti as a squad. Charge two. I uh, perils, but I get five of them at least. You don't have enough to stop that. I can't stop that. So hopefully I didn't kill myself. <laughs> one! One! Two! Uh, That's an auto wound. Auto wound and you forget a power, Yes. Right? There's four powers, including force. So we'll do Primaris, uh, Dominate, no, he knows uh, number two. We'll just number two, and then Hallucinate and Force. Reroll. Reroll. Two. Whatever so, number two was. Yeah, whatever number two was. That was <laughs> mental fortitude. Oh, which that, I, that, I, didn't, I didn't care about anyway. That was useless anyways. So I'm down to one wound, but we do get hallucinate off, so let's see what happens. I roll a d3. A one is you take a pinning test. Boring. Your leadership ten. A two is everybody's minus one ballistic skill, weapon skill, initiative, attacks. Well, that's, mm -hmm. That'd be nice, because you wouldn't be able to shoot nearly as well. You'd be hitting on fives. Mm -hmm. And a three is all ten of your guys attack Kotias. He takes ten strength, three hits. Yeah. I think I'd rather have a two than a three, but a three could be funny. Two. Yeah, two. All right. Okay. So you are thinking everything is beautiful around you. You're like, ooh, it's so beautiful. Oh, of and, course. 40k, man. That's right. <laughs> it's, uh, there's beauty and destruction. So now they are all ballistic skill two, Weapon except for Kotias. Yeah. Weapon skill two, that's not as big a deal because I won't be charging you. Unless you decided to come out and charge me. But initiative. that'll last for your turn. Which will be nice. Shooting phase, these guys will run six inches. Wow. Mm, boy. Gotta take advantage of that and close the gap as quickly as I can. I will be in rapid fire range, but it'll force you to fire with only Blizzard skill two. Now if you can get prescience off, but let's face it, I think you're gonna have too many psychic powers to get off this turn. Yeah. Yes, especially if your terminators come in and you have cleansing flame, which is probably what you want to do. Mm -hmm. I run the patriarch. 
four inches. That won't get them too far, but it'll get them somewhere. And then these guys will open fire on the Rhino, which will have a cover save. Mm -hmm. Snap fire the two mining lasers. I do have the targeting relay to reroll ones. So Ooh, reroll that one. There it is. Oh. No. Launchers hit on fours, rerolling ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that got me one hit out of all those. So. And fives to glance. Unfortunately, that's oh. all I'm going to get. Oh. Nothing. So, no first blood for me. I think you're going to manage to get it. I'm going to run these gene stealers. Three. Let's reroll that with fleet. Five. Five. There that's you better. Go. I wanted to get them out of line of sight. Oh, there's a guy back here. Straggler. Okay. That's all I got. So, yeah, basically we're playing cat and mouse with your rhino. Yep. And uh, even though you got to reroll for your terminators to come in, I hope you fail it. <laughs> Give me one more turn to, to take on your guys, because these guys are just about here. Because even though the front guys won't be able to see, somebody from the back will be able to. And that's not too hard to charge. Uh -huh. So we'll just have to see. And your overwatch would only kill the guys at the back, unless you move forward, in which case I have a closer charge. Yep. So take your pick. Let's go into Inquisition, turn two. Reserves, Terminators on a three plus, re-roll. Yes. Yes. They Don't know ahead. if you needed to re-roll, but... No, but It's hard still. to say if you got the five first and the two first, right? <laughs> so they are deep striking in. So you're going for right here. If you land that, Cleansing Flame will hit the Gene Stealers, which will kill them, mm -hmm. and everybody else. So... Come on. Scatter far. Yes. Dang it. Yeah. Frickin' dang it. Woo. They're, they're going to adopt Steve's tactic of uh, running away. They're going to hide. Yes, they're going to hide. Hide bravely. Very bravely. Bravely hide. <laughs> and you successfully made it, so I can't see you. Which means I won't be able to try to charge you. Dangerous train, double one, die! Oh. oh. You gonna disembark finally? Yep. Difficult terrain, so they can disembark four inches, four plus inches. the one inch of getting out, so five okay, inches. So five. And out they are, two flamers out front, ready to clean up the mess of what's not killed by cleansing flame. <laughs> yes. Psychic phase. Now you've got five warp charges on the table, and I've got four. Six. Six. Cause Six. Oh, right, because the Terminator squad counts as one. Yes. And... Plus one. Oh, only one. So you got seven, I got five. Yep. I'm assuming you're doing cleansing flame? Well, yeah, definitely. All the dice? It's warp charge uh, two, isn't it? Probably not, yeah. I'll probably do five. It is warp charge two, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's better warp be. Charge two, yeah, better yeah, yeah. be. Should actually be warp charge three, but that's okay. But I don't need seven dice for it, so. You don't? Remember, I can deny on five pluses. I got a psycho. Oh, actually, oh. four pluses. I have adamantium well. Oh, okay. So I'm denying on fours. Ah, then actually, yeah. Then so you need know. more dice than me to average higher than me. Yeah. So here we go. Oh, you can choose any one, right, to do that? Yeah. Yep, any one. Well. So I'll choose the psycho and. Adamantium will. Okay, so only uh, level two psychers. It doesn't get the extra one, but go ahead. Don't get too many. Seven sixes, baby. Oh, oh you only got two. <laughs> yeah. Freaking. Ah, fucking. Yes. Take it. Freaking. Take it. Out of it. <laughs> okay, it's assault two d six. So roll how many hits it gets. Ten. Ten. Ooh. Ten. Okay, I'm gonna save you the time. These two <laughs> jinxers are just dead. <laughs> We're not gonna roll for them. And then you get ten hits on them. Okay. And against the Acolyte Squad, Tuesday. And you kill seven of them. Yep. One. Two. Oh, it's only nine inches from him, so I wonder if there are seven within nine inches of him. Yeah, there's seven. There's four on the ground level, oh. and three on the top level. No, there's only two on the top level, so he only kills six. Six. But they are soul blazed. Shooting phase. Two flamers. I don't know. To wreck the rest of them. It, it's kind of. It's a lot. 18 hits between the two of them, wounding on threes. No safe. Yeah, I think the rest of my guys are dead. There's only 11 guys left, and they were all in range of the Flamers, so you killed that entire squad, including my Magus. Not bad. Oh, this guy's pretending to be part of yours. He's dead. <laughs> and the new Terminators are going to fire at my Patriarch squad. Four Stormbolters and a side cannon. Do the Stormbolters first, hitting on three. Fours? Wounding on fours, yeah. Wounding on fours. Three wounds. Three wounds. Three up cover, four up from intervening ruins and stuff, and then stealth. One wound, feel no pain. Felt. Oh, one. Right there. Now, side cannon's hitting on three. So, two, two hits and two's to wound. Their toughness four, right? Yep. Okay. So, one wound. And then. But it's rending as well. Yeah, it's three but up cover. Doesn't matter. 
Saved. Another rhino. Storm bolter and the rhino. Down threes. Forced to wound. Forced to wound. There so we wound. go. One wound. And that one's out in the open. Yeah. So he's got a six up cover from stealth. Mm. And a feel no pain. He's dead. Oh. Kotiaz and his crew are going to shoot all the way over there. And I don't know how many I can hit. Four iron range. Hit on fives. Hit on fives. Hallucinated right now. <laughs> Four is the wound. One wound. Oh, I'll take. I'll take it on the patriarch. Three up cover. Saved. That's it for Inquisition. Turn two came in and killed my Magus, the acolytes, and the two uh, pure strain gene stealers, and hit his guys over here. So there's actually no possible way for me to charge them, which is really too bad. Unless I get like close and have somebody get out far enough to be able to see them. But that's going to be a tough one to do. So let's see if I can do anything. I have a funny feeling I can't, but I'm going to try. And Gene Sealer called turn three. And we'll go for your squad in the middle. They're the closest. The squad is just going to move up as much as it can. It's going to conga line it all the way back to this guy, who can actually see this guy. <laughs> which see would, the one guy's head. Which will allow for a charge. So, And on the overwatch, you'll only be able to kill the guy in the back. Mm -hmm. So we'll just... String these out perfectly. Second phase, you've got six, I've got two. So you've got 12, I've got eight. I'm just going to attempt to hallucinate Cote as a squad again. Anything else I do will just get a three up Deny the Witch, thanks to your psychic hood. <laughs> so we need two, four pluses. Okay, I peril, but I did get seven. Okay. So we might as well throw it all. So you need five? Five, yep. Yeah, no. Nope. Now, what is my peril's result? Okay, yeah, pretty good so one. take a leadership test or lose a wound. I'm fine, Whew, thankfully. Who listen eight result, D3. It's hey. three. So all your guys attack Cotiez. They think he's a traitor. So 10 of your guys attacks Cotiez with strength right. three hits. Yep. That's four is the wound. Five wounds. He's got a two up save and three wounds. So he's not likely dead, although it'd be hilarious <laughs> if he did die. Go ahead. Mm, one, one wound. One wound. Down to two. Mm -hmm. The shooting phase is nothing. The only ones I can see are more than 12 inches away. So we're just going to go straight to the assault phase. So they're going to declare an assault. They need an eight inch charge, but you do get to overwatch against the one guy that you can see in the back. Sure. Cote so, has his eagle. Yep, four d6. Four shots. Yeah, one, one hit, winning on a three. AP nothing, right? Yep. So five up save. Save. Oh. And the other 10 guys did not fix this. Cool. Nope. Nothing. Eight inch charge. Hey, I made it. Oh, characters. Oh, there is a character back here. I'm going to measure very carefully for him to see if he's close enough to issue a challenge because he has to be engaged in combat, not just locked in combat to issue a challenge. So I'll measure carefully for these guys. Yeah, you're going to get So they are all in, and he is within range to issue and accept challenges as well. That epic charge range, man. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. And second, let's get overwatched by some flamers, Patriarch and the Aberrants, into the squad. Uh, two flamers, how many shots? Four. Four. And four is the wound. Four is the wound. Oh! No, nothing. Okay. This is where the sixes come from. Yeah. Rapid fire bolters, two, two hits. And then fours. Yep. One. Three up cover. Saved. <laughs> Six inch charge. Oh, okay, we're in. <laughs> but uh, I am losing my initiative because I'm going through difficult terrain. Yeah. Don't think losing the initiative will matter too much here. Well, do the aberrants count as having assault grenades? I don't think they do. I know the patriarch for some reason doesn't. You know, I'm just going to put him back here. Right. He's in base contact. So it was just weird stuff. Start with this fight. I will issue a challenge. Do you accept? Of course. So I am the challenger, so I am the one that swaps. And you can stay back where you are. All right. And then the guys who swap, including yourself, we're all, or these two are considered to be in base contact for all intents and purposes. So piling in, unfortunately the guys down there are left out forever because three inch <laughs> pile in just will never get them in. So they're essentially just fighting these guys, although I am fearless, so that'll kind of help too. Oh, and I have Zealot. Whew, good thing I remember that. So I got hatred. I hate you guys for hiding it's so long. So we'll start with initiative four of these guys and then I'll... I'll do them. They're all of hatred. They're all higher initiative than, than you. Yep. 24 attacks from the six guys, despite the fact that they have three close combat weapons. Rule book is very clear that you never benefit from more than one. Do they have AP? 
They're rending. Well, besides the rending. AP 5. Oh, okay. So and I don't you're 5 up them. save, right? Yeah. So the rending won't matter so much unless I get through to Kotiaz, so I'll save the rending hits for last. Threes to hit with hatred. <laughs> Meaning I get to pick up all these misses and try again. Good thing, because that's Ooh. a lot of misses. Yeah, it'll be fine. There we go. 23 hits. Oh, it'll no. be fine. It'll be okay. It's <laughs> fine. Now I need threes to wound with rending. So I'll save these two rending for the last. Because I think we're going to get through to Kotiez. Yeah. Yeah. yeah most just, definitely. There's five, ten. So those are the ten guys dead. Four regular rolls for Kotiez. And then two. Does he have an invulnerable save? No, he does not. Oh, then he's dead. Yep. Okay. Well, you can roll those for fun. But he's really dead. Yep. Okay. Warlord kill, but this guy's like, hey, hey, it was my kill. So let's just remove all these guys. All dead. And I guess that's why you were hiding the whole time. Yes, that's right. And let us consolidate six inches. Not bad. Going to use the six inches to move a little bit this way. And the guys on top six inches will only allow this one guy to get down. The rest of them will just have to move to the edge. They're not afraid of the edge. <laughs> hey, look, we can see straight down. Into this fight, unfortunately, I'm initiative one all around, even though I have moved through nice cover. Guys. So you guys just get to attack first. Alright. Mm -hmm. Fours to hit from your guys. Meh. Two hits. And then fives to wound. Yep. One, one wound. Three of my guys are in base contact. So... Taking the big guy, honestly. Yeah, but I don't have feeling the pain on the big guy. Oh, yeah. So it'd be five up, five up on the other guys. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on the aberrants. Five up. Oh, okay. Yeah, good. All right, doesn't matter. Five, at five attacks on the charge from the patriarch, hitting on threes. Ooh, not bad. And then he's wounding on. He's AP five shred, so he's wounding on twos. Yeah, shred. So five of them are dead. And then he's got his gene stealer familiar. Okay. Two attacks, one hit, strength four, so threes. So nothing from that. The two aberrants will just use their running claws because AP5 is enough. And the one of them will have four attacks and it will have three because one has a power pick, which is not specialist, and the other one is specialist. So don't get the bonus attack. Hitting on threes. Wounding on twos. So four more die. That's all of them. That's, That's exactly nine. I was hoping at least one of them lived. Keep me there so you can yep. cleanse and flame me. Well, just so I can make it easier for me to charge you as well. So you can't really, you don't have as much wiggle room. Yeah. Well, hopefully I roll a good six inch consolidate. Is that it? Oh, oh there's two more. Two more. Two more that get chopped up. Yeah, there you go. Consolidate. Five oh. inches. That's good. I just can't come towards your Terminators. I just can't do it. I want to. Oh, now who's playing the running game? Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> I do it once. <laughs> Where's my other aberrant? There was another one there. They're, they're supposed to be. Or is it, did I pick them up? Did you oh, pick, oh, you picked them up. I picked them up. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna hide right there. Yeah, that'll, okay, so, whoo, did a little bit of a comeback right there. Killed pretty much all of your Inquisition. Kotiaz goes down, gives me Warlord kill. And I'm still very healthy with this squad and not too bad with this squad either, losing just two of the Aberrants. Rhino's still alive, which is annoying because they can run around and grab objectives or anti-score. So it'll, I'm guessing that you're gonna use it to hold that objective yeah. while the Terminators move on up the middle. Yeah. But I'm hoping I can get in a good position to fight your Terminators in, in a very unfair engagement. But uh, we're already going into your turn three. Yep. So we only have a few more turns to do that. So we'll see if you want to approach the middle to grab that second objective. I do. Because if, if you don't get a Warlord kill, then I'm going to win. Mm -hmm. okay. Unless you're holding two objectives. Well, I can... I can because they are objective secure, so I can hold the middle more Yes, than yes, yes, yes. But I just mean if you just sit in the middle, then ah. that'll give me the time to surround you. And I think all these guys, if they all got a charge in, even though I'd be an initiative one on these guys, mm -hmm. would be able to combine their might and kill those Terminators. Yeah. I would hope so, at least. We'll see, though, as we go into Green Knights. Oh, we're still technically Inquisition. Inquisition, turn three. <laughs> Difficult terrain. So, boom. Three inches. Oh, <laughs> terrible. Uh, they're moving. They're slowly. getting there. Give them time. Give them time. I don't have any long range shooting, so. I'm just going to move those. And I can't use my psychic shriek on you. Not that it would matter, anyways. You'd be three up to nine, re rolling ones. Yes, re rolling ones. So, yeah, that wouldn't matter. There. At least you're down a couple warp charges. Mm -hmm. Speaking of warp charges, what do you nope, got? Not yet. Rhino. 
Rhino. Oh, the Rhino, that's right. Okay, move through cover. Don't roll double ones, otherwise he's gone. Oh, nope. fine. So 12 inches is sits him right nicely here. So he's just gonna sit there for the rest of the game holding that objective. Yep, and shooting his bolters are... Psychic, you've got four. Four plus six. So 10. <laughs> What are you gonna try to pull off with all those 10 dice? Uh, let's see, so let's try three, four, force. Go for it. Uh, actually, no, I'm gonna do Purge Soul. What does Purge Soul do? It's, uh, th it's a Focus Witch Fire, uh, Warp Charge one, and I roll, and you, you roll D3, or D3, and you subtract it with your leadership, and however many that's left over is how many wounds you take, no armor or uh, hold on, cover. Hold on. 10 minus D3. 10 minus D3, because your leadership is 10, right? Yeah, yeah, so I would take 10 minus D3 wounds. Oh, not D3, sorry, 3D6. Okay. There you go, sorry. So Purge Soul, so you're Purge actually gonna soul. count cast it on the Patriarch. Yeah. And hopefully get at least two warp charges so you can focus it on the Patriarch, because you yep. gotta get more than what it's supposed to be normally for it yeah. to be the focus point. I do. Dang it. Well, I can stop it on fours. Mm -hmm. 3D6 minus my leadership of 10. Yeah, you'll kill him, so I gotta stop it. You stopped. Do. Yeah. Wasted, but stopped. Three for Sanctuary. And who's casting this? This would uh, be the squad then? No, this is uh, still the Psyker. Oh, that's still, right, because he's yeah. the Sanctic one. Yep. What does the squad know? Hammer Hand and Force and Banishment. That's it. And Banishment, okay. Which is not useful at all. But uh, Sanctuary. You yeah. got it? Yep. Lastly, what is he going to try to do? Uh, Hammer Hand. On the Librarian? Uh, I know. I, I know. Squad. Oh, I know. But you choose who does it in uh, case you in case you perils. Okay. So who do you want to perils? The squad or the, the librarian? Squad. Okay. I'm gonna do it on the squad. Okay. So. So the squad's gonna do hammer hand. I get it. You do. Yes. Okay. Into the shooting phase. Okay. Uh, let's try the side cannon onto your HQ squad. So hitting on threes. Yep. I was really hoping I was gonna get into the ruins. Two. Two's to wound. Two's I'm still wound? toughness for okay. majority. Oh, you're strength seven anyways. Strength seven. Two, two, two wounds. wounds with stealth. Three up cover. And five up feel no pain. Saved. Okay. So, storm bolters. Storm bolters hitting on threes. And then this is would be four. Four. Yeah. Yeah. Three more wounds. Up cover. And feel no pain. Saved. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, snap fire and storm bolter. I might get lucky. Ah, oh, okay. Might roll double sixes to begin the game. Maybe you could roll it to end the game. Yeah. Nope. That's all you got, though. That's all I got. So you're stuck back there. Hmm. Give me time. To, uh, I'll have a, at least a couple turns to try to to get in there, and maybe I'll get lucky and get that third turn. But the problem is you have objective secured in your terminators. So mm -hmm. as soon as they grab that middle objective, I lose the game. Unless I can take out your rhino somehow. Which I don't think I can. No, you have to get into close combat. You don't have any shooting that can do it anymore. No, just last pistols all around. Yeah. I got a needle pistol. It's poison two plus on this guy. Yeah, yeah. poison the, the pilot. You know, yeah, yeah. The slot. Yep. Okay, cheese to the call. Turn four. Difficult terrain. Five inches. Walk around. So I'm going to use that to put my guys in base <laughs> contact because they can't get down. <laughs> Only five. And then these guys will just use it to move up and we'll start conga lining it back. It's like there to keep coherency. I'm gonna have the Patriarch leave the two Aberrants and join this big squad. Aberrants will difficult terrain, three inches. They're gonna start heading this way. Okay. It's getting coherency though. Second phase, just for fun, because I don't think anything's gonna happen. Uh, I've got five, you've got nine. No, seven. Just for fun, I'm gonna try to dominate you. All right. I make it with three, three, and you stop me on three pluses, re-rolling ones. Yep, you're good. Yes. You got three. Oh, you almost didn't get it. Yeah, you <laughs> really got it now. <laughs> Shooting phase, let's run this big squad. Two. All right, <laughs> okay. I'll use that to put a guy out front. And then the aberrants will run four inches. So these guys will just. No, it's just you, I'm used to playing five up for most things, unless it's a building. Hmm. I see. So. Well, ruins are four up. Those are very clear in the, the oh, main yeah, rule book. Okay. That's my turn four. I don't know. But these guys got to get off of here. They're preventing me from getting to the middle. I was hoping to be able to have them off by now, either from the 
move through cover, or difficult. Now they'll help move through cover. Yeah. That'll help a bit. Or through the running as well, because then we can meet you in the middle, because I know that's where you're heading. You have to go for the middle. Yep. Otherwise, I will win. Mm -hmm. So let's go into Inquisition, turn four. That is so a critical. Dif difficult terrain. Come on! Two inches! Come on, man! It's the... You can always run rather than shooting. No, it's, that's terrible. Well, if you don't, the game could end on turn five, and you could make that move. You could make that difficult train roll really, 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 really poorly, <laughs> and not make it to the objective. No, I need to see as many of you as possible. Yeah. Well, just assume. Just move up, and you can assume you can see. Okay. Because there's lots of cracks in the ruins and stuff. I'll be getting a good three-up cover save, but you know. Psychic phase. Well, you could do that Focus Witchfire one. Eh, yeah. So you've got six and I've got four. Mm -hmm. Everything into uh, the Focus Witchfire, because I can still see your guy. Yep. Your HQ. Yeah, it's 24 inch range, you said. Uh, well, actually, I should probably jump that. Well, it is a 24 inch range. So we'll get at least two of these, and you can target my Patriot. And you get three. I stop it on fours. Oh, you got Ooh, it. Yes. So I do 3d6 minus leadership 10 yep. on my guy. Does it say I can't look out, sir? Uh, I don't know. We'll focus which fire. So two things. First off, that power wasn't nearly as terrifying as I thought. Nope. We both rolled these six at our leadership. If you equal or beat me, I take one wound. Yep. And on top of that, I could look out Surrey. So, yeah. why don't you, you roll your leadership 10, I'm guessing. Five. I have to roll six to beat you. And I do! <laughs> okay. Only see this guy. Can't see the other guy. So you're going to fire everybody at this squad? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So my psi cannon can only... I would, I would fire your storm bolters in first, because if the psi cannon kills this guy, only two storm bolters would be able to see the other guy. Yeah, but then the psi cannon can't shoot anything. He, he can only see the first one? Yeah. They're two wounds each. Yeah. Well, psi cannon can't see both then? I thought you were... I was talking about this squad, and I said assume you could see them. No. Because this guy is hiding quite well. Yep. Do you want to swap your psi cannon for one of the storm bolters? Uh, two inches couldn't do it. No? Okay, so you wouldn't have been able to see him anyways. No. Nope. Okay, two your choice. That there's not enough room to make yeah. two inches. So, just to make sure I can kill one of the guy. So, side cannon, hitting on threes. And winning on twos. Randy won't matter. Nope. I'm already being ignored. So three. Three up cover. And feel no pain. Oh, oh, he's got one more wound. Make it fire those storm bolters. Oh, the rest of my... So, I need one more dice. There we go. Hitting up threes. Am I actually am I close enough to the objective? I don't think so. No, yeah, we'll find out. Oh yes, yes you are. You are some three. Okay, so one. reroll one. Boom. So two ones. So this misses. That also misses. Force the wound. Force the wound. Two wounds. Over. And feel the pain. Oh, I felt it. He killed the power pick. I am fearless though. Thanks Fine. to both the patriarch. Actually, yeah, they're stubborn normally, but the Patriarch's alive in this formation gives them fearless. Mm -hmm. well, hitting on threes, re-rolling ones because of the objective. Well, that one is a targeting relay, too? Yeah, it is. Four. Yeah, you're right. Hey! <laughs> yeah! Oh, horse. Okay. Uh, That's it, then. Yep. It's my turn five. Come on, move through cover. Give me a six. Oh, okay, never uh, mind. I had to move through cover. I could have rolled an extra okay. die, but I got it. Scale down the building. Finally... Get off. And I have to go for the charge here. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you're holding the objective. All you have to do is just sit there. Yep. Just keep firing at me. And those four guys, did he come? No, he didn't come down. He was holding he coherency. So he's got to stay there. Keep coherency with all these guys. I'll just hope for a very long charge. And Aberrant, three inch. It's really hoping to get him closer. Psychic phase. You've got four plus one, and I've got two plus one. I got three. I'll try to dominate you. Right. Oh, can you beat two with three ups? Yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> and we'll skip right to the assault phase. I'm going to have the aberrant charge. Are oh. you going to overwatch? The aberrant charge me? Yeah. This is why I wanted to kill him first. Yeah, if you, if you don't overwatch him and he makes a charge, well, then you don't get to overwatch, period. And then you deal with a hammer. If you do overwatch, well then you can't overwatch the other squad. Take your pick. So I need I need a seven inch charge for difficult, so yeah. I need to roll a nine or higher. So right now is I do I gamble it because you've been rolling really well. Like, yeah, but that has nothing to do with what I'm about to do. That has nothing to do with what I'm about to do. That's the thing. Do I want to weigh it against uh, me almost definitely losing? Or 
I'll be initiative one for all my guys. Oh, wait, never mind. Not all these guys. Those are, they all have assault grenades. Oh, yeah, the Patriarch yeah. will be initiative one. And that's important. It is. Because he's the one that could start chewing through your guys. How many wounds does he have? Three? Three. Armor four, weapon skill six. Seven. Seven. Initiative seven, normally. Okay. He's a character, so he can challenge. Mm -hmm. And he's going to have Zealot. Because he's part of the group with the Primus. Oh, only he. four, so I can actually get to strength six. Okay. You're not hammer-handed right now. Nope, but the staff is still strength six. Yes. Or a halberd strength five. Okay, you know what? I won't overwatch. You will not overwatch. Nope. And you're hoping, obviously, that I fail this charge. Yes. Then. Nine. Oh, you almost did it! You saw that! It was like the end! <laughs> <laughs> Failed. Okay, Woo! yeah, the squad is charged and you can overwatch that. Okay. If you just kill one guy, you'll make this a very uh, much harder charge. So my gamble paid off. So side cannon. Hitting on sixes, rerolling ones. Nope. Stop it. There you go. And it's storm bolter, same thing. Sixes, rerolling ones. Reroll those two ones. Whoa. Okay, good, just one. You're winning on threes. Fail, 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 fail. Okay, then I get a three up cover. Yeah! Oh. Okay, so all that all that hum and drumming didn't matter in the end. Oh, I gotta make a seven inch charge. I'm just gonna roll it. Eight! Oh, I was hoping for higher, but you know what? I'll just I'll just be happy Take with it. I got it in Take there. It. But it will engage my patriarch, which means he can issue challenges. Mm -hmm. yeah. No problem is I didn't have force. Nope, or hammer hand. I was waiting for when you would not have that, which is why... I was, I was hoping that you wouldn't get in. That's well, when, when you mentioned, when you are like, uh, w when you only rolled one for your warp charges, and you're like, oh, good, because you knew that it meant that I wasn't going to get a lot of denying, yeah. I was actually happier. I was like, nope, that just means he can't Cast force, hammer. hammer hand, and also do that well, shooting one as well. Well, I could, it's just you been a lot riskier. Yeah, it would be harder. Yeah. Okay, so that's where we were piled into. This is it, you realize. This yeah. fight... Is the rest of my army. Yep. And I will issue a challenge with my patriarch. I can't issue with him because he's all the way back here. Yes. He'll be providing some hatred, but uh, that's about it. Would you like to accept? And if so, with whom? Because you have the sergeant and you have your librarian. Mm, so they both have two attacks. And so, yeah, and it doesn't really matter that they're weapon skill five or four. Nope. I'll be hitting you on threes. You'll be hitting me on but, fours. But the six, but the strength six and the versus the strength five does kind of matter. Is yeah, toughness I'm toughness five. Five. So yeah, it matters. You went on threes instead of fours, and you do get to strike first on him. The rest of my guys will be initiative four, so they're at the same time as you. Yeah. What do you All think? All right, let's do it. Which one? Uh, we'll do with my uh, librarian. Okay, so Make I will either a glorious defeat. Okay, so I will swap defeat. closer. And then your librarian just has to stay back there. I do have yeah. a hammer as well, so he'll be... He'll be last? One, yeah. So, okay, we'll both be hitting each other at the same time. But, yeah, we'll see. So, initiative four. All my guys actually have assault grenades. It's so dumb that the Patriarch... Gene Steelers don't. Like, why would Gene Steelers have assault grenades? And I think that's all the guys who will be in the fight. And the rest of them... So how many is that? Oh, it's enough. It's six. Remember six? Yeah. That's how many I got into the fight last time. <laughs> now mind you, that was against guardsmen. <laughs> Not even getting any armor saves. Yep. And now your initiative four guys get to pile in. Okay. But they should all be in the fight. They should all. Yeah, because the guy is right there, and then everybody else will be within two inches of him. Can we, can we just assume that they Yeah, are, just, just, yeah. It's, I don't want to stick the guys in there. Yeah. Okay. So you want to start with the librarian? Sticking I guess my patriarch? Uh, hitting on fours. Uh, One hit, one and then hit. you're wounding on threes. Threes. Oh. Nothing. Okay. Oh. Preferred enemy, demons. Yes. He's not a demon. No. I then want you to do your three guys at initiative. Actually, four guys at initiative four? And one guy with a hammer? Yep. Okay. Okay, I should probably... Are they different strength levels? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. so this is the what strength? This is the strength four. Strength four fountains hitting on four. Are you about to go four? Yep. Then you hit on fours, yeah. Oh, mm. just two hits. And these are strength four, so they're wounded on yep. threes. No, no saves, though. One dies. Now this guy dying still gets to fight. I've got six guys that can fight, no matter what you do at this point. Okay. The, uh, the halberds are strength five, hitting on fours as well. And they went on twos, no saves. So two more die. So two more die, but they still get to attack back. Now I get my 24 attacks, and then your hammer and my patriarch get to go. 24 attacks from my guys. Same weapon skill as you, though, so I'm only hitting on fours. But I do have hatred, so. thanks to my Primus. Ooh, that's not bad without hatred. Yeah. 
Hatred re-rolling. Yeah, that got me a few more. Yeah, quite a few more. Is that a hit that just got knocked into a not a hit? That was a, that was a not was hit. One. Okay, so four, so that's down to 20, so that's 17 hits. Strength four, rending. So four is the wound, but I'm really looking for those sixes, but even the fours could kill. Yeah. Two rending. Oh, that's a lot of nothing. A lot of nothing. So, um, doesn't matter what order, because we're just going regular guys. So why don't you do your two plus saves? Just fail one of these. So I'll do four before I get to the... Uh, yeah. No, the librarian's... No, four before you get to the hammer, right? Is he get to look up, sir? Well, actually, oh wait, yeah. Okay. He doesn't look up, sir, does he? No. So that doesn't matter then. Okay. Unless you care about looking up, sir, from your sergeant to the hammer, which I don't mm -hmm. think you want to do. No. So just two ups. They're good. Oh. Okay, you better fail both these five ups then. Five, so... What the? Oh, you only really lost one guy. It's the guy with the two falchions. Just remove one of the guys with two falchions. Uh, I, I guess it matters the order, but... Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, I know, I'll right? It. It's just a stupid ruin is in the way. I'll do it. All right, the Patriarch at the same time. So right now you're winning combat, although I'm fearless, but... Yeah. And you're probably not going to run anyways, your space, space marine. I don't want you to run, actually, because then you can cleanse and flame me. Yes, and I... Let's do your hammer guy first. Hitting on fours. fours. One, one hit. hit. Wounding on twos. Twos. Concussive. Well, it won't matter. Matters. You're just killing a guy. Yeah. One more dies. And then my Patriarch. I'd like to kill your librarian, because you're, you're winning by four right now. Or sorry, by three. So if I kill your librarian, that'll tie us up. I don't want you to lose combat because then you'll run away, cleansing flame, and then charge back in after shooting at me, and that'll just be game over for me. Game over, man. Game over. I want to lose this. I know. I don't want to lose my librarian. Well, you have to. In order for you to lose this, you have to lose your librarian. I can't cleanse and flame then. I know. Oh yeah, that's right. So win-win situation <laughs> for me. Okay. Yeah, the five attacks plus the two for the familiar. If they kill seven guys, I'm okay with that. Five attacks hitting on threes. With hatred. Thank you, Primus. Strength five with shred and rending. Threes so, to wound. No sixes. No sixes. No sixes. No sixes. There we go. Okay, five AP three. Uh, so two up saves, and you got two wounds on him? Yep. No! Oh! Okay, what about the genes that are familiar? Two attacks on threes with hatred. Four is to wound. That's another wound. Two up save. Dang it! Dang it! Okay, I didn't want you to win by that much. So you win by three, I'm fearless, so we're stuck in combat. So then we both pile in. My hatred expires, my extra attacks expire. Does my library come in? Does it matter? I guess not. Well, we're in a challenge anyways. Yeah. Unless you want to try to heroic intervention that one. So that's the end of my turn five. So now it's your turn five. Yes! So we just go straight to your psychic phase, because the rhino can't really do anything. I want to shoot the one guy. Oh, you're going to shoot? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so do that. Oh, no, second phase is first anyways. Yeah. So... Three. three so I've got seven. five, and you got seven. That's enough for you to get lots off. Right. Cleansing flame, no attacking me. What are you going to try to do? So... And who's doing it? It's important. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> the squad is going to do hammer hand. Okay. So I have four... You got it? Oh, I'm not going to try to stop it. That gives him plus one or plus two strength? Force? Hey, you said hammer. Oh, hammer hand. Uh, plus two. Okay, so plus they're two. all winning on twos now. And then force. On the squad uh, as well? The squad, yeah, but from the librarian. So the librarian's doing it? Yeah. Okay. Because he doesn't actually have hammer hand. Okay. Force. I'll try to stop it. I do! Uh, well, that's only really against the Patriarch that matters, but uh, let's face it, that matters. Still, strengths. Anyways. And then Stormbolter to try to take up my one yes. power hammer. Threes to hit. Rerolling ones. <laughs> All of the difference. And yeah. then fours to wound. Can't kill you. Three up cover. Saved. So straight to combat, my Patriarch gets to go first. Did you want to try to do a heroic intervention to jump your sergeant in in front of your librarian? No? No. Okay, so he'll go first then. Four attacks from him, hitting on threes. No more hatred. Boo. Boo. And then wounding on threes with shred and uh, rending. Oh, dang it. Uh, so that's two wounds on him, two up. Hey! Uh, failed to, <laughs> it took long enough to get over there, but he took it. <laughs> Let's see if they can finish him off. Threes to hit, and then fours to wound, rending. Dang it! Nothing. And then we'll pile in initiative four. So you're going to do your guys first? I'm going to do my librarian first, because I can. On, yeah, hit on fours. We did on twos. That's a wound. Yep. Uh, I don't have any saves against that. It's AP4. Yep. But thankfully, force wasn't activated, so I'm only down to two wounds. 
options. Strength six. Only oh, it's just one guy with options. Yeah. That's right, because the I killed the other one. Yeah. That's right. Now they're all going to be wounded on twos now. Okay, didn't matter. Didn't he missed. Matter. And cowbirds hitting on fours. Oh, okay. You know what? I wouldn't mind making you run this. Oh, okay. Okay. This is it. If I can make you run, and then the game ends, then I win. Yep. Um. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow, this is bad. close. This is closer than I thought. I thought I was just going to get... Now, here's the question. Where is my librarian since he's actually in a... Well, no, he's a... he piles in as well as he can. For intensive purposes of um, the fight, we're in base contact with each other. Okay. But other than that, he is where he is. So you, you just keep piling him in. Because I had two pile in. I can't pile in more because nope. the thing, he should be on the objective. Actually, he wouldn't have objective secured, so it doesn't matter. No, it wouldn't matter for him. And it doesn't really matter anyways because... He can't swap. I already swapped the Patriarch, so you're just kind of stuck where you are. And it doesn't matter. Your Terminator is the one that's objective secured. Yeah, no, it's just actually it does matter because if he stays there, I still have... I, I would contest that from you. Yeah. If my librarian if your librarian's is there. close enough. If your guys are in there, then you have it. If the librarian's in there, you contest it and you win. Either way, you win. They're all in there, but... Yeah, I so as long... I, and, and if I don't make you run and the game ends, you win. Yeah. If I, or if I kill all your guys, that is a possibility too. Yep. Not as likely, but could happen. My f I have five of the uh, neophytes in range to fight. They have three attacks each. So we got 15 attacks and on fours. Mm -hmm. Fours to wound, but more importantly, rending. More sixes? Oh, one one six. rend and three regulars. The rend first, so five, five up. Plus. Boom! Hey. Fail two of those two pluses then. Not one! Yeah! Then the Primus has four attacks, hitting on... Ooh, I better check his weapon skill. <laughs> He's only got weapon skill four. Hitting on fours. Ooh. So, no preferred enemy there. And he is going to rend on sixes. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so you got your hammer. Yeah. Hammer hits on fours. Okay, none. I still won combat. No, we no, were tied, actually. You did a wound to me, I did a wound to you. Did you do a wound to me? Yeah, I took one yeah. off your librarian. No, that, yeah. was, that was from before. No, that was from this turn. It doesn't matter. I'm fearless, but it was from this turn. It just happened so long ago because it was initially ah, set. Yeah, yeah. So it's a tight combat. So really what it comes down to, does the game continue? If it continues, I think it's slightly in my favor because my entire squad will be in. Yeah. Plus he's going to charge in. Uh, so I hope it continues. You want to do does. the honors? Three plus it continues. Otherwise you win. Three plus. Woo! No, it continues. Gene Stiller Cult, turn six. And Difficult terrain, five inches, okay. He's just gonna come over here, okay. so we don't roll a double one and not get into combat. <laughs> and then, well, I guess I should, should I do the psychic phase? No, dominate won't matter. Hallucin yeah, I'm not gonna do, I don't wanna risk paralleling and then dying. <laughs> so no psychic phase, so just straight to the assault phase. All right. Assaulting, and then Patriarch will go first, initiative seven. Yeah. We're gonna kill the librarian. You ready? All right. Threes to hit. Hey! How many sixes can you roll? I, I know, right? It doesn't matter that I got three up to wound re-rolling. It's the sixes. Boo! Sixes. Four wounds? I don't want that. Two up saves. Fail one of these and the librarian's dead. <laughs> Stop making all your two plus saves! <laughs> You're making way more than five out of six. <laughs> She's still familiar. Hits once. Ah, it's rending! Five up in vom. Or is it four up in the librarian? Five up. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, 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 oh. finally. Oh, man. Oh, oh. <laughs> Initiative four pile in. Now all my guys will be in. My patriarch is still considered part of the challenge, though. Okay. So you will be putting your wounds on him last. Mm-hmm. So we'll start with your initiative four guys first. This guy can choose. Yeah. You know what? No, I'm gonna do all three on him because he does have two wounds. Yeah. So, so you're hitting on four. Fours, yeah. Wait, is he working? Yeah, let's go four, yeah. Okay, so you could kill him. Choose to wound. He's dead. No, he's got film of pain. You're not insta killing him. Uh, yeah. Five up film of pain. Mm, oh, that was a okay. power hammer ready to go. <laughs> the AP2 weapon, one of the few things I didn't need to roll a six. And two halberds, hit on fours. Uh, there we go. You can't hit, but boy, can your armor always save. <laughs> M twos. You kill a guy. So you're winning by two so far, because I did one when you've done three. So mm -hmm. now all my guys get to go. So I'm doing everybody's attacks, including the Primus, because they're all just wounding on fours, 
rending. His instant death won't matter because you're all just one wound each, no apothecary or anything to feel my pain. Hitting on fours. <laughs> okay, that's a lot of hits. There's only what, four guys? Four guys. Yep. Four guys. Come on. Right, four guys? Sixes. Fours to wound, sixes rending. Oh, three, sixes. three sixes. And then we got some wounds just as backup, although we know that they're not going to get through anything. Start with the five regulars, so two up. Oh, see? Oh, okay. Five up, this is where you fill all three of them because you're a nice guy. Okay, you know what? I'll take it. Everybody's in base contact, so yeah. who do you want to kill? Hammer still hasn't gone, so don't kill him. I will kill the other Falchion guy. Okay. Actually, no. No, he's got more attacks. No, yeah. But I guess you still have to get Hammer Hand off now. Because it'll be you your. What? No, I gotta kill him because I don't want to kill my sergeant. Actually, should I kill my sergeant? Does he have an extra attack? No. Is he special in any other way? No. Then who cares? Yeah. All right. And he, all that's going to happen is he can accept challenges. Yeah. And... I don't really want to accept challenges. No. Not really. I don't go anywhere. Oh, I saw my Gene Sealer Familiar. I forgot him last game. The Primus is Gene Sealer Familiar. Oh! Scratch that. Just that right that's there. the Patriarchs. Oh, okay. The Megas had the other yeah. Gene Sealer Familiar. Okay. So that's the end of my turn six. But I do have to hit with my hammer. Oh, right, right. Hit on fours. Hit on fours. Come on! <laughs> Poor guy. can't hit more than once. <laughs> Two's to wound. Hey, you win combat. I'm fearless. Attacks. But yeah, it's, it's three less attacks. That's actually a big deal because mm -hmm. you're down to two guys and you've got to survive one more round of combat. And I won that, so I pile into you, but your guys are still within three inches of it. So we're just going to leave it where it is yeah. because it won't matter too much because we're going to have so much in the fray that I can choose who's going to be a base contact. No, it doesn't matter. So let's go into your turn six. Uh, three dice. You could get Psychic off. You've got one, I've got two. You lost your librarian. So you've got four, I've got five. Whatever. What are you going to go for? Just all hammer hand? All the time? Because there's no feel no pain anymore. Yeah. No feel no pain. Force could still help against my Primus and my Patriarch if you get to him. If we get to him. You've only got like four attacks though. Five attacks. And two of those are after everybody. I've got, f I've got one more than you. And I'm only designing on sixes if you're doing a blessing. Hammer hand. Hammer hand? All of them? Yeah. Or are you going to get greedy? You gonna get greedy? It's a little bit greedy. Okay, three on hammer hand. A little bit greedy. So, well, you know what? Let's keep it for force. Okay, force. No. That's fine. <laughs> well, it could have been. <laughs> and you're not gonna do anything in the shooting phase. You don't really want to leave that objective because right now you're winning because he's sitting on there. Yep. Although you could be winning because they're taking that one too. So, because if you've got an objective and I don't, you've got first blood and I got warlord kill, so it's four to two right now. But it's really seven to two. Uh -huh. But if, yeah, it just comes down to this. Or unless we go into turn seven. So uh -huh. let's go straight to this fight, starting at the Patriarch. And you don't have your sergeant anymore, right? So no more challenges. Come on, Patriarch, kill one. Now we're just counting everything in base contact because there's a muddled mess that is yeah. in there. So you could choose to kill your hammer or your falchions, whatever you so desire. Yeah. That's, I'm assuming I'm killing something here, of course. Threes to hit. Probably. Dang it. I don't know, just two. Threes to wound. Shred and rending. Oh, come on. Uh, you just roll first, and then you can take them off after. Oh, let's roll. Oh, the two Gene Stealer familiar attacks, hitting on threes, wounded on fours, rending. Yay! Okay, four or five up invo. Six! <laughs> ah, ah, yes! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> okay, why don't you do your Falchion attacks just for All fun. right, so. Three attacks? I'm not gonna be hitting anything. We no, it doesn't really that. matter. No. You're so. all about the surviving aspect of the game. <laughs> Pretty much. You got Hammer Hand off, so two's to wound. So hey, you killed did. two things. I'm gonna put one of those in the Patriarch, just for fun. And all my other guys, including the one that just died, because it's the same initiative, yep. hitting on fours. One is dudes, one is dudes. And fours to wound, sixes, and or sixes rending. Two rending, and then like one wound. No. Do the one wound first, just do the, do the one wound first. Roll the one. Five up, involved. you got two guys left. Uh, uh, uh. Don't do them one at a time! Uh, uh, do them both! Oh, I'm dead! I win! I can't believe you're doing that to me! Oh. You're like, I'm gonna roll this one at a time! Drama! <laughs> drama! Drama, baby! Drama. drama! It's all about the drama. Oh! Okay, so is there any possible way that you could draw this or win this? No. You'd have to kill my Patriarch. I'm not gonna kill your Patriarch. No, because I can hide him amongst everybody else. He's only got one wound left, but I can hide him. With the like, let's assume I consolidate. It's not just one inch. Oh, I go next anyways. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter. So I can hide him. Heck, I could oh, kill your rhino. Yeah, that's more likely what I'd be doing. So, 
That was a good game. Holy cow. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, we're going to talk about this in the post-game show, and then we're going to play a second game of Gene Sither Cult versus Inquisition or Grey Knights or whatever it ends up being. You'll see that in the link below. Yeah. So go ahead and click the links to watch the post-game show.